just I, I said it the other day where um, a team like this can come out and, and play harder and, and, they, and they did they, but I got out played today I uh, gave up a bunch of points at the end of the game couldn't really guard anybody um, so uh, I got to take a lot of a lot of blame for that late in the game just not being able to sit down and guard guys that are smaller than me. Yeah, Coach, he more than once talked about toughness, that Evansville played harder and was tougher. You guys couldn't get much posting up. Yeah. Why not? Why, why, why do you think that wasn't working? Uh, Coach is right. I got out tough. Um, I, I didn't res re like revert back to what we do in practice. Uh, I was standing straight up. It's a mental thing for me. Just got to be mentally tough late in the game, especially when you're tired, and uh, I wasn't. Did you see this team panic at all? Coach said, hey, there's some quick shots, things we didn't draw. Did you, did you see any of that out of you guys? Um, I don't think so. I, I think uh, guys were just, let's say, just a little surprised at, at some of the shots that they were making, too. Um, we'd guard for 30 seconds, and then we got banked in three at the end of the shot clock. And it's just kind of deflating to see. Um, but I don't know if, if guys were uh, I don't know if they were nervous or anxious or whatever, but uh, it's, I think at the end of the game um, it came down to who, who was tougher and, and who was mentally tough, and uh, they got the best of us today. Is this something that you practice or shoot around or anything you saw coming in terms of like a letdown? How well you No. Uh, I thought we practiced really well the past few days. We had a really good shoot around today. Guys were locked in and focused. Um, I think for us, some of the shots early didn't fall, and we weren't getting post touches that we usually do. And it's on me. Sorry, it's on me. Um, as well, I wasn't doing my thing down low, and I got to go get more rebounds uh, for us. But I don't think it had anything to do with our, our focus and stuff in practice. And how much? How, oh, sorry. How, how much is Ashton hobble or not himself? Coach mentioned a, a leg problem. I'm, I'm not. I'd have. No real like insight into Ashen's injury, um, but I know when when he is who he is, we're really really hard to beat. And I think uh, there's a little bit of a mental thing when when something hurts on your body, you think about that. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not Ashton, so I, I don't really know what he was right. going through. But um, I think that might have had something to do with it. But I'm not 100% sure. And Coach also said that on the very last shot, Tyrese was not supposed to take that shot. You guys were looking for something else. What, what, what were you guys hoping to get? You needed a three to tie it. Yeah, uh, I should have let the ball bounce, let the ref hand it to me. Um, so that's on me. I, I didn't set it up for us the way that we had in practice. Um, and I think at the end of the game like that, we have a, we have a play designed to, to get a three from somebody else. And, um, so you were inbounding? Yeah, it started with me. I didn't let the ball bounce, and then Tyrese just had to shoot it. Was that a timing thing about not letting the ball bounce? No, it's just a, I got to, I mean, gotta, I can't, we don't have any timeouts. I shouldn't have picked up the ball to get the five second count started, so I, I got to let the ref handed to me and let him do it. So you guys really never could get into a rhythm of like offensively. You have two or three good ones and then disappear for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. What did they do defensively that maybe you guys haven't seen in the first two games or the exhibitions? Uh, I think they just played with energy for forty minutes. They had guys who wanted to wanted to wanted to win and wanted to play hard and wanted to play for forty minutes and if a guy got tired they were able to sub somebody else in. You guys were talking yesterday about or I think it was yesterday about being number one inspires the opponent or can. Did you sense any of that tonight? Or Absolutely. What? It's everybody's championship game when they play here, when they play us. I mean, I've been in that position. When you come in and you play a ranked team, like, they have a big target on your back, and, and we have a huge target on our back every game. And I think they came in with uh, with that kind of confidence. They were excited to play us. And like I said, I think it's like their championship game. Nate, how big were all those offenses and notes, especially down the stretch in the last couple of weeks? What do you guys say is different? <laughs> I just need to play them, uh, and then to get outworked is just not acceptable. Collectively, coming into this game, how do you feel like your guys' preparation? I mean, we had a great couple of days of practice. Everybody was locked in, guys were focused. Walk through and shoot around today was great. Um, we didn't have any lapses or anything like that. Everybody's in good shape, so I, I just, I think for I me mean, personally, for me, it was I just got out tough and outmanned, and that's just on me. And I'll be better for the for the next game, but. Um, I didn't. We don't, I don't think we had any issues with preparation. I don't think guys were, were coming in thinking that we're going to blow everybody out because like you can't think like that. I said it before. Like, I've been on the opposite side of this game where I've been that team 
coming in and you have to have laser focus as that team because you're playing against a bunch of superstars and like all-stars and stuff and so um, I think for us it, was, it wasn't anything with preparation it was just uh, kind of late down the stretch there making shots and as one of the upperclassmen on the team <coughs> how do you make sure this doesn't like continue to happen to the next game and on to the next game uh, just being positive throughout everything. Um, there's lots of lessons to learn from it personally and as a, as a whole. Um, go through, watch film, and, and be open to critiques. And every, everybody's going to get critiqued in this game, and that's okay. Like it, it's how you grow as a player. It's how you grow as, as a team. Um, and just accepting what coach has to say, looking him in the eye, and just being okay with whatever he has to say, and then adjusting and practicing. Like you can't just do the same stuff, get yelled at for it, and then do the same stuff. But make adjustments, get better, and, and Move on. Nate, you, you get more experience than any other player here. I'm wondering if there's anything in your past that you can call upon to use in this instance, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Bucknell losing to I, somebody. Or... My freshman year, we were the number one seed going into the conference tournament, and we got stunned at home by the eight seed. A team that we had beaten by 35 and then 42. In the, in the regular season, and they came into our gym and beat us. So, um, why? Why do you think that is? It's everybody's championship game. It's, I, I said it earlier. These guys are are coming in here, amped up, ready to play because they're playing us in Rupp, and, and it was the same thing when we played Holy Cross. They, they, they personally, I didn't think they had any business being in the same gym, and then they ended up beating us. I was hurt, but even still, like as a competitor, that's how I was thinking, and then. Um, just moving forward, it's it's okay. It's November 12th. We're going to be fine. We have a very, very talented team. We have a good bunch of guys that are willing to, to get critiqued and willing to make adjustments and willing to do whatever it takes to win. And I think we're good. Kyle seems to be questioning you guys' toughness. Yeah. It seems like every game. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? What Are you, are you guys not tough? Are you, are you working on toughness, or how do you do that? I mean, I think we're a tough team. Um, we're just super young. You have a bunch of, there's I think five guys on our team that have played college basketball before, six with Riley, um, or five with Riley, whatever it is. Uh, and then you have a bunch of guys that have never played college basketball. Like it's hard to do everything you do in practice, all the, the team defense, team offense stuff for 40 minutes. Like they're not used to that. And so I'm not used to it here. I'm, I'm used, I gotta get used to a new system and, and how they guard and how they defend and all the stuff that they do. And I just have to, as a leader, I have to kind of communicate that with everybody and, and do a better job moving forward. My well, last question is, a week ago, you guys were number, beat the number one team. Yeah. How do you go from, from beating the number one team to losing as a number one team? Yeah. Um, to an unranked team. Yeah. Uh, and they, they came in and they were just amped up and ready to play. And uh, they made some shots down the stretch, grabbed some crucial rebounds and, and made their free throws down the stretch, which that really carries over into into a win. I mean, it's small stuff like that that really, really matters. And um, personally, I have to do a better job of boxing out and getting rebounds, especially late in the game, making sure nobody comes in and gets offensive rebounds.